Canada's defense policy is very simple. Basically, we don't really need one because America's defense policy is also very simple. Basically, if you mess with America, they will kill you. Because we're attached to America, nobody messes with us. We're like the cockiest kid in grade three. Nobody in the playground is gonna say boo to us because we've got an older brother. He's in grade six, weighs 200 pounds, and can break stuff with his forehead. So if that's the case, you might wanna ask yourselves, what the hell do we have an armed forces for anyway? Well, obviously, Ottawa's been wondering the same thing. Paul Martin was Minister of Finance for 10 years. He used to make cuts to the military before his feet used to hit the floor in the morning. But did that mean less missions? No, in fact, it meant more missions with less resources, which would lead to the equipment debate. Ottawa would say the armed forces have all the equipment they need, whereas the guys getting shot at would say, um, no, actually, we don't. So who are you going to believe? I have no idea, but I do have a proposal. And I think Paul Martin is going to like this because it's fiscally responsible and he gets off on that sort of thing. This is my plan. For the next 10 years, when it comes to the armed forces, we spend like drunken sailors. I don't know where the money's going to come from. I don't care. We can put it on the Canadian tire card. I don't care. But if the armed forces say they need something, we give it to them. And then in 2013, we can sit down and we can say, OK, we've got this excellent armed forces. It's fully equipped. Are we going to keep going with this peacekeeping thing, this idea that we came up with that defined us all over the world? Or are we just going to say, shut it, let's close the entire works down, have a yard sale, shut up and go sit at the kitty table with Iceland. I know, Paul, it's an expensive plan, but if we're going to ask people to leave the best place on earth and go to the worst places on earth and keep the peace and do it in the name of Canada, the least we can do is back them up with the gold card. <laughs>